As Garland continues to make improvements, some components will change or may look different in this video. When using a floor jack to adjust the casters, please be careful of the solid state relay board's heat sink that protrudes from the bottom of the grill. During your initial setup of your clamshell grill, be sure the cooking surface is 36 inches from the floor. However, please keep in mind there is a red safety line on the casters. Do not pass this when adjusting the grill. Okay, the calibration procedures of this grill is the same that we have seen on other models. There are several how-to videos on the calibration procedures of each one of these steps. Please visit YouTube Garland Grills channel to see these videos. The steps and procedures are the same, however, there might be a difference in style or platen style, or platen look or grill look. Behind the front control panel is the Wi-Fi board. This board is connected to all three SIVs. The unit will work perfectly fine without internet connection. The Wi-Fi antenna is located behind the middle UI. This is your active compression board. Currently today, there are two different versions. Version one you're looking at now. And version two is here. They operate in the same manner. We split the incoming power to the actuator motor to go through this board. We will now take a look at this board in action. We will initiate a cook cycle now. We can now see the light come on on the top left hand corner. That means it has reached its point where it's going to extend your active compression pin and it's looking for a high amp draw on that motor of about two amps. When it receives two amps, notice the LED lights have now changed and the grill is still beeping. That means the platen is still moving to its desired gap for that recipe. Once the beeping stops, the platen will be at the desired gap of that recipe. We now hear the end of the cook cycle tone. This tone is your early warning that the cook cycle is ending. It will be followed by a sharp beep. The platen will now move up and hover above the product. Notice the bottom red LED light turns off first, and then your power to the motor, the red LED light in the top left of the motor board, turns on. Then your lower left green LED light turns off. When the top red LED light turns off, and the bottom red and green LED lights turn back on, the platen should be in its fully extended up position. Inside the arm, you're going to find the active compression motor, the compression pin assembly, some wiring, and a micro switch. Let's take a moment and look at the active compression pin. You can see here you have your pin nut with the key slot to hold the nut stationary inside the back of the arm. There's a slot on each side. Then you can notice the threads and then the solid pin housing that goes through it. Then you have a collar to activate the micro switch that's on there with a set screw so it doesn't move up and down the shaft. Here we can see the pin lock bracket that holds the nut in place that allows the shaft to move up and down through the nut. With the pin removed, you can see the bracket assembly and the micro switch assembly below it. There is a slide that will activate the micro switch. To adjust the protrusion of the pin on the outside of the back, you will simply loosen the four screws on the white plastic and move the assembly up or down. Please be mindful, this assembly is plastic and it is fragile. All you need to do is finger tight with the screwdriver. Now we will move our attention to the rear of the unit. Again, this clamshell grill 
has several different models. We have changed the back of the unit with the anti-rotate device on the different models. This particular model shown here has a bar on the left hand side with the cross member that slides up and down the bar to keep the unit aligned. Notice that the home and upper switch is between the bar and the actuator shaft. The over travel switches are now on the right hand side of the motor shaft. Please note, this cross member design will change in the near future to a different look. However, it will still operate the same way. You have now seen the differences between this clamshell model and the other clamshell models of this genre. Garland, a well-built brand, thanks you for watching this short how-to video.